Hi, I'm Mike Pruitt, and I would like to welcome you today to our webinar on automated performance using a UV inkjet label press. I'm the product manager here at Epson Industrial Printing. We have been working on label press automation for quite some time, and I'm here to talk to you about our latest technology. My emphasis today is on machine automation, high productivity, and how inkjet technology would compare with typical EP toner technology. A trend from the cut sheet market we are all seeing now in label production is the migration from EP technology to reliable and cost-effective inkjet technology. But right now, I'd like to welcome Mike. Thanks, Mike. I'm the product engineer here at Epson for the uh, SurePress product line. So I'll be helping Mike out answering uh, questions about the SurePress. During our design review of our UV press, three objectives were singled out. One, reliability, making the press literally available to print 22 hours per day, seven days per week. Two, was high print quality. Print quality which stays consistent and does not drift from print to reprint even a year later. Cost effective to own and easy to operate. This means minimizing consumables, simplifying operational costs, and automating the operational tasks. Print quality is the heart of your business. In the design process, we identified four key areas which were troublesome for digital presses. First off, fine registration control. To achieve text down to two points, which is required in the extended content language booklets, for example. High opacity ink. The goal was one pass, one printhead, with no added maintenance required to condition the ink. Thirdly, color shifts. Repeat jobs which are not dependent on systems which have to be constantly calibrated. Lastly, the widest color gamut with the least amount of colors. Adding colors will always increase the color gamut and costs. Sophisticated inkjet printheads, pinning and curing lamps, special inks work together to expand gamut and minimize the cost of adding and maintaining extra print heads. The big print volume. We all want a press which never stops printing at speeds to 300 feet per minute 24 seven. But to scale the requirement, a label converter needs to answer the question of how much print volume is required per month and what digital press will be able to deliver that volume. So as a background, what is the average monthly digital print volume of an EP and U or UV press in the field? Well, according to IT strategies, it is 350,000 foot square per month. Just looking at print speeds is an easy way to see if the press you're looking at can reach the monthly average. And in theory, most digital presses in the $500,000 range can do 350,000 square feet in just one shift over the month. However, actual sellable produ productivity is controlled by print speed, reliability, print quality, and ease of use. An Epson L6534 digital inkjet press can do those four things right and is capable of five times the 350,000 square foot average, which is a, a total of 1.75 million square feet per month. So we, let's talk about how we reach those impressive print volume numbers while maintaining beautiful print quality. One requirement is to provide a highly automated, high quality print process with minimal mechanical adjustments. Using a center drum ensures consistent, predictable distance between 
the print head and the print surface. Web steering and automated web tension monitoring ensures a predictable web feed. Automated nozzle verification ensures quality without manual visual inspections. Electronic adjustments made at the touch of a button minimize mechanical mistakes such as the over tightening of an adjustment knob or stripping a screw. An additional key is to have print engine components that are compatible with each other. Re that results in minimal downtime. Print, head print heads should be designed for use with a specific ink set as well. Pinning and curing LEDs need to emit a very specific wavelength of light in order to reduce heat and wasted energy. The ink pumps, the aerators, the filters, and the de-aerators all need to move the ink without damaging or causing premature curing in the ink lines during transportation. The robotic controller needs to command all of these components very precisely and very reliably. So altogether, a robust inkjet system eliminates the need for reprinted jobs due to color shifts during printing and other errors. Additionally, simple preset driven substrate changes are very important. We can let the press computer remember all of the details of the substrates and previous jobs. Once you set a substrate preset, the settings can be recalled later with a few touches of the control panel. This eliminates the need to calibrate registration between colors and it saves time throughout the day during every single roll change. In that same vein, minimizing operator touches is very important as well. User involved maintenance should be done once per day, reducing the amount of time spent cleaning and maximizing the time spent printing. Okay, so all those ideas sound great. New ideas are great, but how do you solve some of these age old problems that every label shop deals with every single day? There are several speed bumps a label press must anticipate in order to achieve such impressive print volume figures. So let's talk about some of those hurdles and some of the ways we've introduced solutions. One certainly universal problem is dirty or dusty rolls of substrate. This could be caused either just they're that way from the vendor or simply from storage. A web cleaner or vacuum suction after the substrate leaves the unwinder and before it enters the press would eliminate most of the dust. Additional concern might be the overall might be the overall reliability of the print engine itself, obviously a major portion of every press. The poorly designed print engine wouldn't work well if even one component is not working perfectly. So we've, we've minimized the dust, but we still need to make sure we don't suffer premature curing in the ink lines or curing on the print heads due to reflected light. So the ink system, the print heads, pinning and curing lamps all have to be developed and tested to work together as a complete system. Further, relating to ink droplet control, preservation of fine detail and small text is always a challenge. This is because when a jetted ink droplet moves on the print surface before it is cured, you lose print accuracy. Your drop didn't go where you expected it to go. LED UV pinning lamps can be placed in very close proximity to the print heads to prevent these ink droplets from moving away from its intended location. Additional ink droplet issues include static. Everybody knows that static problems with film are a fact of life. You could hang some holiday tinsel off your press. That's one common solution that certainly works. Another solution that certainly works is electronic ionizer bars. They can be used to neutralize any static charges on the surface of the film which will allow the ink and film to interact more predictably. Other problems with film surfaces can include uh, film surfaces that are not quite ready to receive UV ink. In these situations, corona treating devices can be used to provide a surface treatment which increases the performance of the substrate. A couple major examples of materials that are commonly corona treated before printing are polypropylene with no top coats and laminated pouching materials. Additionally, other materials may also require a higher intensity of UV light than others. In this case, an external UV lamp can be used in addition to the pinning and curing LED lamps that are located inside the press. So the uh, next hurdle, let's talk about web brakes. Uh, web brakes cause far too much downtime and I defy anybody to argue with that statement. 
So some countermeasures that we could include would be automated monitoring of web tension, an optical splice detector to detect splices that may cause uneven web tension, or perhaps even a web break. Also, for when that web break does inevitably occur, we have diagrams to help your operators web up the press. So finally, the, the last hurdle I'll talk about here is installation and training. Even the best tool is totally useless if you don't know how to use it. So personalized on-site training is an absolute requirement, and it's a great investment that always pays huge dividends in efficiency and safety. So with all that said, this sound like great ideas, right? But ideas don't do anything unless the people using the machines actually like the machines. So both production managers and the operators can appreciate a machine that makes their life a little bit simpler. So let me summarize a few take home points. Manual cleaning is done once per day, regardless of the number of shifts. So one captain can be assigned the responsibility of keeping the press clean and properly maintained. Many of the processes have been totally automated. Loading substrates and calibration of registration between colors is either highly automated or non-existent. Many adjustments and settings are totally electronic, carried out from the touch screen. This results in far fewer mechanical and physical errors. It's a very simple process to uh, change a substrate. You can set a substrate up once, you set the parameters, save the preset, and you can instantly reduce the number of minute-to-minute -minute decisions that need to be made out on the production floor. Automated web tension sensors reduce or eliminate web breaks or telescoping. If the tension is too high or uneven throughout the press, the consequence is a warning beep. A warning beep is always much referred over a broken web. Reverse feed reduces substrate waste, leading to fewer roll changes and space between jobs during finishing. Save material costs don't hurt anyone. An easy re-registration process for pre-printed substrates saves plenty of time and frustration, allowing you to get your value-added labels out the door quickly. And to talk a little bit more about value-added labels, I'm going to turn it back to Mike. Thanks, Mike. We all know value add is the DNA of digital printing. Job for job, digital label printing accounts for twice the revenue of jobs done on conventional presses. Versioning is a good example of digital value add. Part of automation is doing more with the same equipment. One example of this is embellishment. Gold foiling, for example, is simulated with a digital press commonly by using silver bop and yellow ink. Now, digital spot varnish is available as a standalone system, or in the case of Epson, integrated into the print unit. A clear ink is jetted at various duty cycles to create glossy or matte areas of this label. This is a breakthrough in technology because glossy clear is very difficult to jet smoothly across all the print heads. Undoubtedly, everyone listening today is faced with multiple challenges that were not anticipated only a, a couple years ago. Business has become a whole lot more complicated and as such, what are some of the expectations you might have of a press supplier? Well, you should see fair pricing of hardware and a comprehensive price a single bundle with all the components required rather than adding the needed fe features later on compl could complicate your decision. Consumables should be minimized and priced per volume. And in the case of tiered pricing for ink, based on print volume, that should be expected. Very importantly is knowing that the supply chain for inks and spare parts is redundant and robust. This is important to keeping your business in business. I want to finish with safety as without it productivity would just stop. Good manufacturing processes, GMP, 
are important to all of you with food industry customers. Strict manufacturing of printing inks in a clean room environment with virus checking is now of high concern, as is the de declaration of toxicity in conformance with standards such as REACH. What does a successfully integrated UV press look like? Take a look at this Gantt chart and notice three things. The press is reliable and printing round the clock without operational issues or print quality issues. The press is fed a steady stream of jobs using intelligent workflow software. The press is doing the principal maintenance throughout the day automatically. For more information how Epson UV ink te technology can take on the growing amount of work at your business, please contact us after the webinar.